Hello there, fellow captains. This is Connor, and welcome back to Infinity Battle Skip. As you can see, I'm just looking at where we are needed the most. We have attack battles as well as defense battles. So I need to choose the target. Now, I was just at, at the Odyssey station here in the Semnos system. But what I need to be doing is going somewhere where I'm needed more urgently. And we have a 50-50 on Lothram Factory, which is um, an... an in atmosphere planet side installation i believe and it looks like it's an enemy installation so i'm going to select that as my target and what ship do we want to get now, of course i'm going to be working towards the destroyer because that will allow me to more quickly get to the cruiser and carrier but look at the cost of those i mean the carrier i'm not sure about it. i haven't used it yet but the cruiser is very much worth it right we're going to go with the bomber mainly because i want to be able to assist in taking out the larger targets so let's see exactly where we are. And I think on the mini-map, or the radar at the bottom, that's an orange triangle. Yes, it is, Connor. Very observant of you to pick out something so simple. But I think that might be a player, which is why I'm pointing it out. Where did it go? Oh, we got an ally. Behemoth. Gallia. Hold on, what's going on with Gallia? Let's have a look. So when you're not fighting in Infinity Battlescape, this is kind of what it'll look like. I need to figure out where I am and where I'm going. So that battle was at, uh, what was the factory called again? Lothram. So it's in Cinder. So I need to go to the star map. I need to find the Cinder system. Where is it? I'm probably way past it. I am. There it is there. Lothram. Okay. We need to select that as our spawn. And now what we can do is eject. We can re-choose the bomber, and in fact, I should already have it selected. I do, yeah. And I can just go to spawn. There we are. Now we are planet side. Look at this. Some textures loading in there. Don't worry, this game is early access. For what is here, it's feckin' awesome. And there's some sort of freight cargo hauler. They get our uh, team points. Holy shit, there's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here indeed. Look at that. Very cinematic view there. I love that about this game. Camera in Elite Dangerous, because I'm new to the game, I find it a little bit awkward. But uh, yeah, that's probably just me. In fact, it's more than likely just me trying to get used to it. We're going to get a lock on the Havoc Otis and fire a few missiles off. Its shield is uh, holding strong at 88%, but we're going to be trying to take it down, but it launched some countermeasures there. And a mine. Okay, that's not good. If that hits one of our big fellows, it's going to do some substantial damage. Missiles out. Let's see if we can take it out with them. Hopefully, or no, they're going, are they going for the destroyer? Or where are they actually going? Hold on, are they heading down to the mine? Oh, yep, they are. Oh, awesome. Look at that, we got it. Now, that might not have got us a lot of points. In fact, I'm not sure how much that got us, if any. But it does assist our team, and that's what being a bomber pilot's all about. I mean, of course, you can get the big guns like the torps, which I'm switching over to now. Torpedoes, and hit the targets with a big, big bunch of ordnance. But what you want to do, a little tip I learned early in, is get quite a bit of a distance away from your target because the torpedoes are slower and have a very, very, very slow turn rate. The missiles have a tighter, of course, t uh, turning arc or radius or whatever you want to call it. Whereas the torpedoes do more damage, but of course they're not as uh, consistent on landing. Now they can be if you launch for, you know, the distance I am now, gives them more of a chance. And you want to make sure also that your enemy isn't moving too fast. As you saw there, a direct impact. Shit. Okay. Putting some power into the afterburner there just to get us away. We have taken about, I don't know, 40% damage to our shield. Maybe 45%. We need to keep that shield up. We also want to continue peppering this destroyer. We have got an ally destroyer currently taking him on one-on-one. -on -one. But we want to assist. We want to put the odds in our favor. Okay. Now, I can't actually use my um, blasters, which is this. I, I, If you ever hear me referring to a weapon as an ion blaster, it's these blue cannons. Mainly because um, ion blasters are what you call cannons or weaponry in Star Wars. Weaponry that is specialized in taking down shields. So I just, by default, go to ion. 
We have a lock there. Or we did. Come on, get a lock. I've got seven torpedoes left. Luckily, if I need to rearm or repair, I can return to Lothram. To the hangar. There we go. We have a lock torpedo out. While we're waiting on that, let's see if it lands. Come on, baby. Come on. There we did. We did. We landed. And it did about 20% damage to the shield. Once the shield is down, that allows us to attack the hull directly. As well as the uh, hard points on the ship. Oh, hold on. There's a lot going on down there. The station does, or the factory and facility does seem to be under direct attack. Which is obvious because it is a defense mission. But, uh, yeah, they're very close. Usually the battles are, you know, way above. Or way on the outskirts of the facility. And look, there's an enemy destroyer that was grounded there. I'm not sure if there's much of it. Oh, we got him! Direct hit with a torpedo. His shields are still holding strong, but let's hit him with the ion blasters there. Now, the ion blasters are directly connected to your energy reserves. The energy reserves are now depleting. If you look at the right-hand side of the um, user interface, you can see a little flashing blue bar. That is my energy reserves, my power reserves. And it will deplete with um, using the booster. Or, uh, one second here. As you can see, using the booster. And there's something else that I was about to say that just completely left my head. Oh, yes, sorry, the blasters, the ion blasters. It drains them as well. So that's not something I like. I guess it's in there for balance purposes. But, um, yeah, maybe have a separate energy reserve for the thrusters because it, it does leave you a bit screwed if you're on your own fighting the target, which can be the case because there's not many people playing this, unfortunately, which is one of the things I hate about games like this that are awesome. It's just that they're so niche and nobody plays them. Well, I play them, obviously, and a few of you guys play them. But, uh, yeah, this also being early access doesn't help. Not that that's a problem, of course. It just means people are going to be turned off because they're not sure if it's actually going to be completed at any point. Honestly, I believe what's here at the moment is worth the money. If only I could get a squadron together, I can only imagine this game being so much more fun. Now, we're at a range here where a torpedo may just land on target. So, let's have a look-see. Come on. Yep, get a bit of altitude there. Come on, come on. Get a bit of a tighter turn. Come on, you can do it. Did we get him? Wait. Oh, so close. I got him! We got him! Okay, I did 66% of the damage there. That torpedo must have finished him off. It wasn't a direct hit, but we, of course, obviously did some damage there. I thought I did more damage to the shields, but I don't know. Maybe I did more to the hull than I realized. Let's go after another one. We have how many torpedoes left? Is that three? It is... Hold on, let me see if there's any enemy corvettes flying about. Because they can be a pain in the ass. I think I see one there. Or is that a, just a distant destroyer? Oh, we got a torpedo. Where's it heading for? Oh, we got a corvette. Now, the corvettes in this game are deadly against enemy fighters. But they can also be supportive in that they can repair. I mean, they're not going to be repairing at the same rate as a tactical cruiser would in... Dreadnought, but they can still assist your team, or of course the enemy team, depending on the side. Torpedo has a lock, but I think, you know what, I'd be better with the missile here. Oh, damn! Right, we need to turn again. Bomber, of course, being a bomber, is very slow and has a very slow turning rate. But that's the price you need to pay for those sweet torpedoes and what's basically a shotgun as its main weapon. Look at that. What are they called? Scatter guns, is it? Uh, shotgun. <laughs> it's basically named what it is. Some other games are called a scatter gun. Or something like that. Holy shit, Lothram is on fire! Have we got a lock? We do. Six missiles should do the job. <laughs> it's not a good idea to fire missiles while the shields are still up, but... It did the job! Holy crap! Is that another Corvette or is that a destroyer? That's a Corvette. Let's head for him. We need to get a lock. We've only got nine missiles left. So we'll need to return and restock. And a repair wouldn't do any harm either. We'll fire a couple just because we don't know. They're not too close. 
Holy shit, we are being shot at by something. Come on. Something's on our tail. What is it? I see something. Is that an interceptor? It is. God damn it. See dark directly in front of us through the canopy? Shut up, uh, God damn interceptor. How much do we have? Hmm. 267. We've almost got enough for a uh, destroyer, but let's get back into the bomber and go and take out some more of those big fellas. Okay, is that a... Where's the Corvette I was targeting? I need him. There we are. Corvette sighted. Missiles away. Hold on, that audio key is a bit annoying. It, sometimes you'll hear the beep. But then, of course, you haven't got an actual lock. I haven't been able to tell if there's act actually something on the user interface that will tell me if I have a active lock or not. Again... It's probably there. I'm just missing it. But I'm not sure. Again. Yeah, it says up in the top left locked. But maybe uh, an extra little, I don't know, detail around the actual outline of the user interface targeting would be better. Like, see how there's uh, four little uh, arrows around the target? Maybe put another couple in the blank spaces. Just to show you have a successful lock. Missiles out, hopefully they will land because I'm directly behind them. Oh, he dropped countermeasures. Oh, you sneaky git. My shields are down. Crap, there's something hitting me. Well, obviously it's a Corvette, but I think there might be something else in my tail. I would use my thrusters to get out of there, but I'm a bomber and my um, energy reserves are tied to both the thrusters or afterburner and the blasters, which is never good. 237 I lost. Some points there. Well, I didn't gain any, so basically I'm down. There's an enemy interceptor. Um, No, you know what? Let's take on that destroyer there. The HVK Duel. -y. Duel. Gives the afterburners. Right, need to switch to the Isle Torps. So hit X and select torpedoes over the missiles. You can't have both active at the same time. You need to choose. And I need to get into a, an angle where the torpedoes will have the highest chance of success and a direct hit. So let's uh, align ourselves up here. Come on. Okay, he turned. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. I was trying to get behind him, but now he's turned. So the original attack angle or approach I was heading in the direction of was the better one. Hold on, is he facing away from us? No, he isn't. I really do like the capital sh uh, ship design in this game. Not so much the smaller vessels. The smaller vessels don't really look like they were built for war. They're more... They kind of look like how uh, the commercial haulers look in Elite Dangerous. Like they're built for purpose and not for looks. Which, of course, the military would be against that because propaganda is a thing. They want the vehicles and the ships to look as cool as possible, so people will enlist to fly them. Sounds patty, but humans are pretty patty. Do we have a lock? We're going to reduce our speed to half. There we go. Torpedo lock. Torpedo out. Luckily, our destroyer does have some support from a Corvette. Come on, come on, come on. Direct it. Yes! Hit him with some of our blaster fire there to take down the shields. It's a slow and monotonous job. Very tedious, but it needs to be done. Hold on, we can fire torpedo point blank. <laughs> and it still missed! Oh, no it didn't. Damn. Come on, get another lock. We've got six left. Five torpedoes left. Oh god, that was way too... I was, I was about to say it's way too close, but I think it's because he's also moving quite quickly. He's descending at a rapid pace. Fire the blasters there. 10% shield left. You know what? Let's not do that. We need to pull away. And get a better attack vector on him. A better attack angle. Now there are a few players in this game. I think it's three either side. But I'm not sure if any are actually... Oh, hold on. That's orange. Which means it might be a player. It is. Random passer bay. We've got an enemy player on the enemy team. Hold on. Is that another player? Targeting's a bit wonky. There we go. Stevie TC. Oh my god. There's an enemy destroyer and an enemy cruiser here. And I'm all alone. 
well, I've got bots, but I'm not good at there. Whenever, when everything comes down to a victory or a defeat, they're no good at all. Come on, give me something, Torpedo. Give me anything, I'll take it. Increase our thrust. Come on. We scone sl Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's close the distance here so we're in range with our blasters. There we go. 13%. We've got a torpedo lock. We can hope. We've only got three left. If we can take down that shield, one torpedo will be enough. In fact, if we got a direct hit right now, it might be enough. Oh, okay. That torpedo took down about 15% of its hull strength. As well as a couple of percent of the um, shield. Come on, this one's got to be finishing them. Even if it's not a direct impact. There we go. Off the aft of the ship. Took them down. Shit, okay, that's a big explosion. Let's use the last two torps on the passerby. Random passerby. I'm coming for you, my friend. Torpedo has a lock. Torpedo out. It will give him time, more time to react, but I like doing it like this because this gives him something to worry about. It's one of our destroyers engaging three of theirs, including a player. Come on, oh, we're out of torps. Let's see if we can do anything with missiles. You know what? I don't think we are. Let me show you just the refueling and restocking. Hold on, I can't remember how to... There we go. Hold down control, and it allows you just to have a free view of the um, interior of the cockpit. Looks like it disappeared. Or it was either tick. Oh, no. We got a direct hit. Oh, <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. Probably was. You could probably hear his um, alert system going off for a good two minutes there before it hit him. Oh, he's going down. He's way into that canyon there. You don't want to be down there, buddy. That will be some serious hull damage on the terrain. And we aren't Losing this? I mean, we are. We are. They've got more ships than they've got two players against one player and a lot less ships. But although a bomber is a small ship, it does pack one hell of a punch. Right, so we want to dock with Lothram Factory and rearm. And a little bit of repair wouldn't be snuffed at. Hold on, where do I leave? Where did I leave? I can't remember. Come on, I can't. Oh shit, okay. How do I ascend and descend? I can't remember. Oh, R, okay. It was R. I just wasn't moving fast enough to notice earlier. Where is the hangar? Is it gone? No, hold on, hold on. I left via, or right beside the freighter on docking bay. So that'll be somewhere here. Hmm. I'm very unsure of myself. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's that tower directly in front of us. At least I'm hoping it is. It would be very foolish if I fly into a structure that can't do anything for me. Yeah, we just need to make her manage our speed and propulsion. There we go. We have docked. Kinda. Okay, we might not be getting anything because we've taken a bit too much damage. Uh, maybe the other landing pad will do? This is definitely where I spawned from. Uh, let's get out of here. What's that destroyer like? 49% shield, 79% hull. No, our guy's got no chance. Even if I assist, I haven't got torpedoes. So I wouldn't be doing much with the old, um, missiles. Looks like that uh, player cruiser assisted by some uh, bot destroyers has cleaned up whatever he was dealing with to the right. The lock is very finicky. Yeah! Feel the pain, random passerby! You can't do shit. I mean, you're looking for me. I can see your guns moving. <laughs> Whoop! Ain't getting me, big boy. I'm too fast for you, motherfucker. Why'd I suddenly turn into a gangster? I don't know. Oh, shit. Direct impact! Shit. <laughs> Should have aimed for the bridge. Although, 
Something to point out. The bridge is invisible. Because whoever designed these ships actually knows how uh, the Empire screwed up. Making the bridges of their ships so painfully obvious to spot. Which is why one airwing took out an entire Super Star Destroyer. Makes no sense. We have no target lock. We are have hover enabled. Everything's shot. We are screwed big time. We're not get Hmm. Oh, here we go. Incoming fire. And we are dying one volley and I'm just wiped out. Let's spawn. I don't know how many got enough for the thing yet. A goddamn destroyer. But leave it there, guys. Maybe next time we'll get ourselves a carrier. I don't think carriers are as fun to play as destroyers or cruisers because they are mainly mobile uh, spawn points. And whenever I see somebody playing one, they're literally just on the outskirts of the battle, allowing allied bots as well as players to spawn in Strikecraft. So I'm not sure how fun that would be. But I might as well have a game where I get one. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to check out my Patreon. I've got six patrons going strong. The more patrons I get, the more I can do with the channel. I can get art for videos and to lure into the fractured space as well as Dreadnought Universe. Or even this. You know, it takes money to hire artists to do stuff, to commission art. As well as do other things. Every Sunday I'm going to be attempting, maybe Saturday or Sunday in the weekends, to get a Patreon live stream up. Where I play with patrons as well as people who donate to the channel. That would be pretty awesome, I think. And just to show that I'm very grateful. If you don't want to go down that route, you can actually just join up with the Discord. It's free. Links for both are in the description. And right on screen right now are my current patrons. I'd like to thank every one of them. It means a lot. It really, really does. As well as those who donated over the holiday period. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy whatever it is you're playing. And now, of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.